I do solemnly... Since he was warned about fire safety before Grenfell. Shall be the truth. Gavin, now Lord Barwell, was the government minister responsible for housing the year the fire happened. In the days after the tragedy, he stayed silent. Key to his role before Grenfell, the many warnings he was given by a group of MPs. Headed by the late Sir David Amos, the all-party parliamentary group on fire safety known as the APPG sent Barwell a total of seven letters warning him that fire regulations needed to be made safer. Lord Barwell never replied. I mean, obviously, very tragically, David is no longer with us. But one of the things that I think is, is probably worth saying just to help the chair and, and the panel in appreciating this APPG correspondence, which I think is a very important kind of a warning that was missed in this process. There were clearly problems with the, way, with, with the department's system for handling correspondence. I think the APG writes, PPG writes to me a total of seven times, and I only ever see three of those letters. Yeah. So four of them just go missing. Lord Barwell told the inquiry he had planned to meet Sir David Amos about his fire safety concerns in person, but a general election was called and the meeting never happened. But he did admit the government underestimated fire safety concerns before Grenfell. The government had a completely false picture of the level of fire safety, but it wasn't just the government. Mm. This wasn't an issue that was being raised by the opposition, with the exception of the APPG. It wasn't being raised by backbench MPs. <coughs> I wasn't being asked about it in Parliament. I wasn't being asked about it by the media. Tomorrow, the most senior politician to appear at the inquiry, Eric Pickles, the then Secretary of State for Housing, will give his evidence. Rags Martel, ITV News, at the Grenfell Inquiry.